933 your time. We've talked about them a bunch. They're known as forever chemicals. They can be life-threatening and just about everyone's been exposed to them. We're talking about PFAS. Yeah, they're the large complex group of synthetic chemicals that have been used in consumer products since like the 1950s. Now scientists are getting a clearer picture of just how dangerous these chemicals really can be. It keeps our food from sticking and our clothes from burning. They can be found in house dust. Parapolyfluoroalkali substances, or PFAS, they're used in aerospace, automotive, construction, electronic industries. Over time, PFAS, though, leak into our soil and water, and because they break down slowly, if at all, almost everyone is repeatedly exposed to them. The PFAS have long half-lives, which mean they are retained in the body for a long time. PFAS can cause increased cholesterol levels, lower the immunity, and increase the chance of some cancers. And now a new study out of the University of Cincinnati shows that exposure to PFAS may impact young girls. We found that PFAS delayed the onset of puberty. The results found 85% of the young girls in this study had measurable levels of PFAS in their blood, impacting the same hormones that delay the onset of puberty which could in turn make these girls more susceptible to breast cancer, infertility, and endometriosis. Puberty is a time of susceptibility to environmental exposures. So what can you do? Well, use a water filter for one that removes PFAS. When possible, opt for products labeled as PFAS free. If you have old Teflon cookware, get rid of it because the odor it gets, the more PFAS contamination you get for the food that you cook in it. You know, chuck that stuff, right? The study also found that better than 99% of the girls in the, the two cohorts measured there had measurable levels of PFOA. That's one of the more important of the, uh, the PFOS chemicals. And now some new research is going to be focused on whether that, the PFOS, are related to later life cancer, things like renal and prostate cancers. More and more research.